This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Finally, it's here, Nissan Aria. In this video, we're gonna find out how many banana boxes we can fit in there. Can it match the MEB platform cars like Skoda Enyaq ID4? We will find out. So I think we should check what we have in the front first. Okay, in the front we have, oh, oh, it doesn't even have struts to hold it up. Uh, okay, we just have some uh, car stuff here. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so no front, but uh, the hood, or I mean the, the nose is relatively short. This, this is cool. This is uh, similar to the MEB cars. Since this is a Japanese luxury car, we have kick sensor. Huh? Freaking cut out the kick, man. Well, 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 fairly large trunk. And in the trunk, we have these uh, individual uh, lids that can be opened up and you can slide it down uh, like this. But we're just gonna take it out for this test to maximize the space. And then under here, we have the Bose subwoofer and some uh, safety equipment. Let me just put it there. And also, what is kind of weird is that in this car, what the heck is this thing? We have two of them. Freaking redundant, man. <laughs> well, are they the same length? Well, it seems like, yeah. <laughs> it's to blow bubbles. Round one with a trunk. Let's see, how much space do we have here? It yeah, has a sloping uh, edge, almost like a Skoda Enya Coupe. So one, two, uh, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is just average for a crossover SUV. This is not looking good for Aria. All right, I try to put as many as possible in there. So let me show you here. We're using the footwell. We're using all the way up to the roof. But however, I managed to or I could not manage to squeeze it all the way to the front here. See, there's a tiny gap there. Could I have fitted one or two more banana boxes? Who knows? Uh, but this is the best I could do in the freaking Tetris. This one is also quite filled to the max. And then on this side, oh, is it? All right, let's turn up the pitch and start counting. One, two, three. Two, 23, 24. Well, it's actually right on par with the Q4 e-tron. One less than ID4, but same as the Skoda Enya Coupe. I think this is good enough. Yes. So yeah, what do you guys think, huh? Aria, is it on par with the MEB cars? I think so. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.